Welcome to this Hindenburg Journalist tutorial where we'll have a more in-depth overview of the elements and features in Hindenburg Journalist. Many of the tools available in Hindenburg Journalist are found in the View menu. Now, let's open the clipboard. The clipboard is used for storing single clips and groups of audio clips. One way of using it is to drag a clip from the workspace to the clipboard. And here you can give it a new name. And later I can drag it back into the workspace. In the montage tutorial you can get some more tips for using the clipboard. Going back to the view menu we also find the favourite clipboard. This you can use in the same way as the regular clipboard, but this one is global. So clips stored on the favourite clipboard can be used in any session. This can be useful for storing jingles and breakers. And from the clipboard you can play back the clip. Something clicked and it just seemed like the band had this amazing data. From the view menu we also find the markers. Markers can be set anywhere in the radio segment. The markers are used for easily navigating your story structure. This is very useful if you're doing a longer radio segment or montage. Rename the markers to get a better overview and jump to any marker point by clicking the marker. You can find more tips for using markers in the user guide. Now I can dock the markers and adjust the size of the window. Going back to the view menu we find chapters. This is used for adding chapters, images and links to the radio segment. There is an entire tutorial on this channel that describes chapters. Now let's see what an entire radio segment could look like. Simone and Kipsky have been creating crazy sounds together since they were kids in the city of Utrecht. We used to go skateboarding and then when we got tired we just spend hours pressing pause buttons and cassette decks and trying to make samples, sort of. <laughs> That's Simone Ackerman, the Simone of If we Simone zoom in here we can see the regions. When we click on a region it turns orange. When the regions are highlighted they have handles at the top and in all four corners. We can manipulate the regions by dragging the handles. The top handle controls the volume. The corner handle controls the fade. You can also crossfade on a single track. It's also possible to select a smaller part of the region and manipulate that. Just drag and pull. Note that you can drag a selection when the cursor becomes an eye beam. All editing in Hindenburg Journalist is done in one view. And Hindenburg uses all normal shortcuts for editing as you would know them from any text editing program. Now we can try cutting a selection. Just drag a selection and cut and the gap will be closed. Or we can clear a selection and the gap will not be closed. It is also possible to split the regions apart like this, creating separate regions. For more details on editing please view the user manual or additional tutorials. Thank you for watching.